You look like a sexy robber. <laughs> I turned the camera on as I'm literally chewing calcium. I woke up, I made some protein hot chocolate and my little bariatric hot cocoa bar. If you were not around for Vlogmas, um, one day we made a bariatric friendly hot cocoa bar. Everything's like sugar-free, protein-based, and it was really good. <laughs> um, I did it with the Lily's peppermint chocolate chips and some sugar-free peppermints and then some sugar-free peppermint bark syrup just a little bit of all of it with some fat-free whipped cream it was so good and then i went for my two mile walk i'm feeling very good I'm trying to stay on that groove for 2022 with, um daily exercise i also really want to i need to start doing some strength training again because i want to try to keep my muscles really strong during this year and you know try to help prevent loose skin Anyway, speaking of loose skin, <laughs> I bought this after I saw it on a TikTok. The TikTok I saw of this was crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Literally, the immediate results that this girl had was wild. And not only is it like immediate results, but it's also cumulative results. So it will build up long-term. So it's gonna help to lift and contour, um, the face and neck, instant and cumulative results. It's called the New Face. I got the mini because they also have like a Trinity big one that can do like your eyes and lip area too, but I'm like, I don't really care about that. Um, tone, lift, and contour. So I thought we could try it because her results were so good. Sorry, after I eat my calcium, my stomach's like, Arr. skincare is your nutrition, microcurrent is your exercise. Exercise sculpts and tones the body. Microcurrents contour and tone the face. Like exercise, microcurrents benefit long-term, long-lasting with continued use. Because, okay, so I've noticed I have a lot of loose skin here already. I definitely have fat, don't get me wrong. But like, I was looking up a video on how to tell if you, it's more skin or fat, and it's a lot of loose skin. I think in general, between being so up and down, fluctuating with my weight for so long. I had chin lipo here many years ago. And that, oh my God, that <laughs> was some bullshit, let me tell you that. Because they told me that once you lose the weight in that area or like have the fat cells sucked out of here, they told me even if you gain weight, the fat cells can't regrow there. I am proof that's a lie. <laughs> Because when I gained weight after that, I totally got like my full on double chin back. But like they made it sound like it was impossible. So full transparency there, that was a big lie. <laughs> and now I just, I feel like I just have a lot of um, loose skin and toning that I want to do here, especially as I'm losing weight. And I just thought this would be fun to try. It was kind of perfect because um, I saw this TikTok and then I had kind of been like, you know, feeling out the skin and looseness here. And I would love to kind of tone it up a little bit, quite frankly. So I wanna see if this does have like the instant results and I'm gonna keep up with it throughout this year. Okay, so here is the device. Looks like this. I have heard really good things about like the microcurrents. Mini and Mighty. Here's our little quick start guide. Um, it comes with a gel primer hydrating leave-on formula. So this is what you put on to like glide it on your face, but 
Um, I saw in that video, the girl said, if you run out of this and you don't want to repurchase, you can just wet your face or use like a serum. Oh, I might have to charge it first. Okay, so it actually has some charge. Okay, use it on clean skin, no makeup or oil-based product or moisturizers. So I just wash my face, nothing else. Clean it with a damp lint-free cloth. It's normal not to feel any sensation or you can feel a little bit of tingling, totally depends on the person. Remember, the two spheres must remain in direct contact with your skin during the treatment to ensure results. Take a before photo to track your progress. So you apply a mask-like layer of this. Do not rub it in. The area should look wet. And then it has a little picture guide for like the way to do it. Glide toward the back of your neck using light pressure until you hear the beep. Complete one, two, three sequence three times. I'm telling you, she literally like lifted her eyebrow and it just like stayed up. It was crazy. It says to charge it before use but like it already has charge so i'm gonna try it let's take some of this oh wow that is quite goopy but they said to do a mask like layer you don't rub it in just let it let it look wet i'm assuming i should put this on my neck too my chin because that is where i'm going next that's my main concern now my hands are super wet where's my little guide i'm gonna follow the picture Okay, so it beeped. It says to do it until it beeps. All right. Making sure both balls are in contact with my skin. Two, three, one. Two, three, um, okay. Okay, I just did my face. Do I look more toned? Okay, so she literally like, I'm gonna put a little bit more, oh God, put a little bit more of this gel. Cause I wanna see if I, okay, relax. We're not even moving. She literally like lifted her brow bone. Actually, that one is a little higher, right? Am I crazy or did that just actually do it? I actually think it worked. What do you guys think? All right, and then after, it's also just massage everything in for the benefits of the cream. I don't know if it really did that much. I don't think it was as crazy as hers because I feel like she like got snatched after. But I do think I have a chubby face so I don't know how much it would really do, but I don't know, I feel like it kind of did a little something, but I'm gonna keep up with it and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, you guys, I just threw on a very simple glam. Um, my lipstick kind of came off. I had some chicken for lunch. Um, so today is Sunday, January 2nd. It's my grandpa's birthday. So Yara and I are gonna head over to my grandma's house and we're gonna just cut him a cake and I got him a really fun present. I got him this present back when I was in Vermont for a wedding and it is so cool. It's like a cocktail in a mason jar. It has all this dried stuff in it, like everything to make. Oh God, I think an old fashioned. I can't remember the drink I chose. I also had got one for Lily, which I included in her gift. For Christmas um so I'll show you guys when he opens it but it was a really really cool concept we got it at just like this little general store so um hopefully he likes it I know he kind of likes stuff like that but it is so dreary and I literally took a walk I even had caffeine and I'm just dragging I had some matcha and I'm just it's not even working I feel like I saw this on the news or read an article a long time ago 
that like if you have a bad night's sleep it doesn't affect you that next day when you wake up but it affects you the following day if you guys are sleep experts let me know because <laughs> i feel like i'm feeling the tiredness from new year's eve today and i didn't feel it yesterday i had a lot of energy yesterday i also exerted a lot yesterday taking down all the christmas stuff that was a much more intense undertaking than i thought <laughs> and i like just decided to like deep clean everything and I went way too hard and then I ended up staying up and editing that vlog so I'm like I want to post a vlog for them <laughs> I honestly I just really love vlogging and like it always feels weird after vlogging this so I'm like screw it like I'm gonna edit but yes yeah I think that's all it is probably I just went way too hard yesterday all right I need to go pick out an outfit I think I'm gonna wear my new old navy jeans Yara's in the shower playing his podcast but this top is from JCPenney it's the brand ANA I love a square neck top and it kind of like, it's kind of like a trapezoid. <laughs> and it's got poofy sleeves. Belt is from Amazon. These are my new Old Navy jeans. And then my favorite little pointy booties that I've had forever. Just a simple little outfit. And I will link what I can. Hello. Hello. You look so fly. And I just gave him a haircut. I noticed it was high and tight. <laughs> Hey baby. Hey baby. It is November 3rd, November, oh my God. It is January 3rd, good morning. It is 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at right now. My morning routine is so off. I'm telling you, I'm an old lady now because New Year's Eve, it threw me off. Now my whole sleep cycle is just off. So after my grandpa's birthday yesterday, we actually went and met our friends for dinner um and it was really really nice i didn't vlog just had a good time and we got home kind of late and then i went to bed kind of late <laughs> and i slept until about nine i watched tiktok till about 9 30. i've been taking it slow in the morning and like i kind of miss having a morning routine earlier but i'm also just kind of listening to my body and i'm like taking it slow drinking some water i'm gonna get my vitamins going for the day and then i'm gonna go take my walk I'm telling you this little thing right here all your days of the week three times a day just so much easier to stay organized so we're gonna go ahead and take my three morning pills and then i set a two hour timer for my first calcium of the day and then i just keep the timers going for the calcium so i don't forget because i tried i tried like skipping timers and i forgot to take calcium so cheers to the old multivitamin Ugh, still better than the chewable how cute is this little teddy fresh shirt it's cropped it's really cute it's like this really pretty peachy color but it's i will say this is a 3x it's pretty small but i just thought it was really really cute um like the soft color and then it has like 3d little beads on it and then teddy fresh on the arm i was so happy that so many of you guys also watched h3 podcast i mentioned it in i think the last vlog all right uh i think i'm just gonna make myself a smoothie for breakfast let me know if you guys want to see like a what i eat in a day video post gastric i can film that separately if you guys want but let me know so i'm gonna make myself a smoothie and then take my walk you look like a sexy robber <laughs> Here is my, it's 25 degrees, but I really want to take a walk outfit. <laughs> Fabletics puffer, this, this right now is not sponsored, but this really does block the wind. Like it is strong. Fabletics power hold leggings. I had on sweats, but I'm like, I should probably wear real leggings. Um, I have a hat on, look at my ponytail. 
<laughs> like, I don't care how I look. I just want to be warm because it is like really cold. I'm wearing gloves. Then I think this is enough, right? <laughs> I mean, the next level is only if I put on like a freaking ski mask. <laughs> you guys, it is so freaking cold. I don't know how I just walked in this. Like literally when I got home, my thighs were numb. My face was numb, but like I love taking my walk. So I'm like the whole time I had gloves on, I was just like breathing to create hot air around my face. I'm like genuinely thinking of like buying a ski mask or something. <laughs> I'm like, how can I keep my cheeks warm while I walk? Cause like the gloves, the hat, I did everything else I could. But like, what do you do for your face? <laughs> Y'all, I can't stand tailgaters. Don't be a tailgater, y'all. It doesn't make the person go faster. Anyway, I'm in the car, obviously. Uh, I have a couple things I need to return, drop off at uh, the post office, then I return to UPS, and then I need to buzz over and grab some chicken breast for dinner. I think I'm gonna make some chicken gyros tonight with like tzatziki, hummus, cucumbers, feta. Hello, I am back home now. So I ran over to Target to buy chicken. Um, I ended up poking around, I had a gift card from Christmas and I ended up grabbing some really cute new home decor pieces. So I filmed like a shop with me kind of TikTok, Instagram reel. So I posted the little shop with me on there, which will be up before this. So follow me on Instagram and TikTok um, for shopping in the store. But here is everything I got. So first and foremost, we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous face. Oh my God, it's so stunning. Um, it's from Hearth and Hand, $30, $29.99, but it's got beautiful texture. I just think it is so beautiful. I love a good vase. I also grabbed this massive candle, also from Hearth and Home. Hearth and Home, Hearth and Hand. It smells so good. It's sandalwood and clay. This was a pricey, pricey candle. I don't know, I think it's worth it because I put, I have multiple spots that I put my candles and I think this will burn for a super long time. Like it says 32 hours. So hopefully it will be worth it. Hopefully it will burn well, we will see. They were in kind of the process of putting out more stuff, especially from the Studio McGee area. And I love, love Studio McGee, like potentially even a little bit more than Hearth and Hand. Um, so, you know, maybe for a little spring moment, we'll check it out down the road. But I grabbed um, this, textured little vase. This one wasn't so bad, this one was $19.99, but you know me, I love faux plants. And I told you guys I needed a new centerpiece for our little dining table. So I'm gonna kind of play around with what I got. Um, I got this, I think this was Studio McGee. Yes, it's a linen tray and it's just stunning. Like I've had my eye on a couple things like this actually from I think West Elm or Pottery Barn, um, but this was a much better price. So it's Got a really beautiful linen texture with brass handles. And I, I don't know, I don't know what it is about this, but I just completely um, fell in love with it. So I know these are new pieces. I'm gonna link everything as well if you wanna order any of these items. I grabbed some gloves. I love this vase. This is only $8.99 from Hearth and Hand. Again, a really beautiful texture, a really nice soft black color. Um, I think I'm gonna play around with this in the tray and then this candle in the tray as well. It's a little pompous candle. I didn't know pompous had a specific scent, but I like the way it smells. It smells very clean. So I was thinking about, I'm gonna play around, I don't know, but I was considering playing around with these three items um, for the centerpiece on the table with potentially some little boho beads. I have so many boho beads, um, which I love to just use all around the house. And I also grabbed this Kish quick drying hair towel. Uh, I have one of these now and I wanted to have another one. The one I have now has like Dalmatian print. This one's just a classic kind of leopard print, but these are great. <laughs> I always use it. So now I have two and here's my chicken. And then uh, lastly, I got this beautiful Oval House bath rug and our bath rug is just like constantly getting gross like no matter how much I wash it like I don't know I don't know I thought like maybe trying a different texture 
would help a little bit rather than just a classic kind of cloth bath mat. This one's hand woven from Mendong grass. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. We'll see how it goes, but it opens up. So it's like, you know, like this, but it's really cute. Um, I'll let you guys know kind of how it holds up and I'll link everything as I said, but there's my little Target haul for y'all. Target haul for y'all. Okay, so here is how the little table centerpiece came out. I love it. I don't know what it is about this tray. I'm just like completely obsessed. So I've got the plant, the vase. These are the little beads I've had, the same tray that I showed you. Super cute. And then out here in the mudroom, I totally forgot to take down all my Christmas stuff out here. I love these little angels. So I gotta take that down. And then over here on this little shoe holder, I have this really pretty little corner. I had some Christmas stuff here before, but um, the new vase, this is an old plant from Target. And then I think these are from Amazon. They're on my Amazon storefront, but really, really pretty. Okay, you guys, I am editing this vlog. It's actually getting pretty long. So I wanted to pop on here to end the vlog properly. But I also wanted to end it on this thought. Something that I noticed that I just find very confusing is I feel like I get bashed a lot for spending money. And I like never really talk about this, but like it's actually something that really bothers me. Like I see comments all the time, like anytime I go shopping, cause I already know, like I'm gonna get comments cause I just shared what I bought at Target. And it's just, I don't know why I get so many of those comments when I see every other YouTuber doing the exact same thing. I do think how people wanna spend their money is completely up to them. Like, you know, if you don't like watching my shopping content, if you don't like me, like you don't have to be here, you don't have to watch. But I just find it so weird that I'm always getting scrutinized for like stuff I buy or how much I buy. I am ultimately a YouTuber who, lo I love home decor. I've really transitioned a lot of my content from you know, fashion and makeup. I used to do so many makeup tutorials. I'm just like not really into that as much now. Like I love more lifestyle content. I love sharing home decor. I love sharing organization. Like as I'm getting older and transitioning into, you know, the future of my channel, you know, I like doing more vlogs. You guys seem to really love the vlogs and a lot of the vlogs are gonna have, you know, shopping like I just I see so many other youtubers who shop way more than I do and I see no comments about them you know being a shopping addict or you spend so much money you buy so much crap it's just like I don't understand <laughs> and you know I always make sure I'm donating constantly to people who are in need like nothing is wasted I don't know it's just it's very confusing but I think at the end of the day like it's just kind of no one's business and like if you don't like someone you totally don't have to watch i just think let's make this a year of positivity if you are here right now kind of hate watching me just go <laughs> like why are you here like i've thought about addressing this for a while i'm just like kind of frustrated with seeing the comments so much i don't know if it's a correlation because i see all the other youtubers who spend as much as i do but they're thin and i feel like i i kind of feel like it correlates. I don't know, I still feel like people don't wanna see happy fat people. This is my little rant. I'm sorry to end the vlog on this note. I just know I'm about to get hit after I just went to Target. Like, I am not the only YouTuber who buys things frequently. But like, I really do count my blessings because I am so thankful that I have this job where I can constantly kind of try new decorating with you guys and share shopping adventures because that was the content I always really loved watching and I'm so thankful that like, I get to do that now and share it with you. So hopefully you are here because you enjoy my content and um, there's going to be so many fun vlogs this year. I am so excited. So I love you so much. Whether you love me or not, I love you. And I will see you guys uh, in a new vlog very soon. Bye.